Greetings and welcome everyone, I am RavenValor95 and this is my newest playthrough, Fable 3. Fable 3 released some time ago to mix to, I think, positive reviews. And largely what I've been heard of it is it's either terrible or it's good or it's meh. So everyone seems to be mixed all across the board. There's no one general opinion on this game. So I was like, you know what, finally, I'm sick of just trying to figure out what people think of it. I'm just going to play it myself and make my own opinion of it because I'm just too lazy to listen to other people and... All that jazz, so we're gonna get this started. The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. And freedom is nothing but a dream. It's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. True rebels fight against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead? The revolution. What a dreadfully sorry sight. Uh, Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. No, oh, what a pretty boy. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Good to know that you're optimistic, Jasper. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Ooh, what have we got here? Two different outfits. Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Practical or The elegant? staff may be reassured by the lack of ostentatiousness in these clothes. That's it, practical it outfit then. The you've you've convinced me, mister. Ah, 
splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. I look really dashing. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. Will do. Bye, Jasper. I like how the audio got cut off. That's a shame. I managed to read the subtitles quick enough. It basically was telling me to avoid oh, my friends. brother. Not sure why I'd want to avoid friends. my brother, but hey. The G Jasper obviously knows best. He is the butler, and as we all know, butlers are, of course, the, you know, the guy who guides you through your highs and lows and is always right. It's just like that in Batman, and so of course it's going to be just like that in Albion. Oh, oh wow, these guys like- Whoa! What on earth are you wearing? Let's hold a hand, apparently. Okay. <laughs> so I can just- I can just hold this guy's hands, and no one- he doesn't question- okay. Whatever, I suppose. Fine, follow me, guy. I'm gonna, we're gonna go visit my friend. So, yeah. Really, that's just it. You can just- okay, you know. See you later, friend. It's, it's been nice holding your hand, but really, that is just weird. This game is goofy already. I love it. Oh, brave knight. Have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. A hug? That's not so... That's not tough at all. A kiss. Now that's manly. Kiss her. Mm. Mm. That's the weirdest sound effect for a kissing ever. How's that? Oh, not bad. Not bad. I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. That was the chicken. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you take my hand and escort me to the castle? Everyone's waiting for you. Absolutely. I held that other guy's hand, so I don't see why I can't hold you all. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Ah, my lord. I'm sure that's fine. The royal duties are very tiring, mm. I, I assume. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. Hello. Combat training, Walter? Who are you talking about? I'm sure they'll introduce me to him soon enough. Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now and straighten those clothes. Hello, everyone. Welcome, your majesty. It's such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. Encouraging speech or harsh speech? I'll go with the encouraging speech. You have all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. This guy doesn't look like a kitchen worker. He must be Walter. You call yes. that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. 
Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. It's because I can lead. My lord. It's in my blood, friend. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. So Walter, what a stroke of luck. Uh, would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. I like the cut of your jib. It's a deal. I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my good prince. Your support will make all the difference, I'm certain of it. What happened to that bloke who went up last? It isn't fair. Why should we pay for Logan's... That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks. But today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me, as if your life depended on it. One day. Very well. Fight. Press left mouse to attack with your sword. You got it. Yes. It's just like Fable: The Lost Chapter. Remember the stories I tell you when you were a child, of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one. Do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero! <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me! Come on! I shall do my strike best and I shall strike you as hard as I can. Let's do it! Dude! <laughs> you only went and broke That's amazing. it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> oh, what? I mean... But listen. Yes. There's something... Walter, you have to come quickly. Both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. Of what? This is not good. Ooh. That does not bode well. Very well, I shall follow you, Elise. Please, tell me what's going on. A demonstration is not enough information. Jasper obviously knows best. He is the butler, and as we all know, butlers are of course the you know the guy who guides you through your highs and lows, and is always right. It's just like that in Batman, and so of course it's going to be just like that in Albion.